the last few minutes I've sat here listening to a great woman from South Korea talk about the fact that she worked her way through being a refugee and imprisoned and came here and today she came to speak to our Armenian refugees that are coming in from Tehran right now. I've talked to a few of those people. They're impressive stories of people who are accepting responsibility for their future and in accepting responsibility for their future they work together with our agency called IRIS to be resettled here to find a new way of life, to improve their English skills, to look for work and jobs, and they have sponsoring families. But without IRIS, our agency, none of these people would be settled. There was in excess of a thousand people settled last year, and it's going to be more like 1,400 this year from what I've been told. We're excited that the Episcopal Church has this ministry in this place at this time. It's not only the Armenian refugees, but we've settled some people from other third world countries that have come here to seek the American dream. When I was listening to our North Korean defector, the good doctor talked about how it was important that we all work hard and that we celebrate our freedom. All too often in this country, we take it for granted that we have the ability to be free, that we have justice. I have come to learn that the freedom and democracy and human rights is the inherent uh, God-given uh, uh, gift and these are such important gifts that I have received. Yeah. When I first came to Korea, South Korea, as a North Korean defector, I came with nothing other than my four-month-old baby. Now I, through the help of a lot of good people that I met in South Korea, I have now studied and received my PhD degree. So, 정말 좋은 일도 가지게 됐고 and 너무 감사드립니다. Have, have a good job and I have been able to help others. I have to tell you, today as I leave here, I will give thanks for the fact that my parents immigrated here and that our families have obtained justice and are able to help others. <laughs>